Hello, uh, my name is Mulugumi Masilu and uh, today I'm going to be doing a lesson. So, let's better get to it without wasting time. The lesson of the day I'm going to be doing uh, fractions. Yes, so this topic is for the grade, grade 6. Grade 6, so we're going to be doing fractions. So, a person can ask his or herself uh, what a fraction is. So we can explain it and say a fraction is, is a part that, that forms an object. Yes, a fraction is a part that forms an object. For example, we can have a fraction be 1 over 2. Yes, you can have a fraction being 1 over 2. So, if you can look at this 1 over 2, you can ask yourself, how is it, is, is it formed? So, we're going to have this 2 here be uh, the number of the objects. This two is the number of the objects that you're going to be dealing with. And this one here is the part of the number of that object. Yes, part of that object. And you can again ask yourself uh, what is the name of these two numbers that are involved in a fraction? Okay, the bottom, the top number, which is our one here, is called the numerator. Numerator. While the bottom part is called the denominator. Yes. So, a person can ask, ask his or herself, how do we get to get uh, the numerator and the denominator? So, when we deal with fractions, we can sometimes have a thing like, okay, let's take for example a circle. We can have a full circle. Then, after having a full circle, we can have, we can have the half of that circle. We're dividing it. We can have a half. And then we can have uh, a quarter. We can have a quarter of that second. And then after the quarter, you can divide it again. Still have an eighth. And remember, we're dividing that second into equal parts. So we can even divide it more and more and more to have many, many examples of, it, of the second. So we carry on. I'm going to just wrap this so that we can have more enough space to. Yes. Still on fractions. As we took an example with, with a second. So we're gonna have, I'm gonna make uh, many examples on how we can determine a fraction by using a second. A second. So I'm just gonna draw a circle here. I'm not perfect, but I'm gonna try it. Uh, okay, and then. Yes, that is my second. So, this is a full second. So, now we want to take some fractions out of it. So, I'm going to divide it into half. So, this is going to be, oh, let it, this be my center. And then, I divide it into half. So, I divide it into half so that both sides are equal. This is not perfect, but you can try to make the sides equal. Like this, yes. You can see this and this side are equal. So if you want to determine the fraction, let's say I shade this side. I shade, I shade, I shade. And then now they say, they give us the fraction of the circle of the, uh, looking at the shaded part. So we're gonna look at it. When you look at it, we have two parts of the second, that is the two parts. 
These are the two parts. And then we check the shaded part is the only part that is shaded. So it's, it's one. So you're going to have one over two. These two being the total number of the parts of the objects, one, two. And this bot, uh, top part being the shaded number of the, sh the shaded part. So another example you can take, you can divide this circle into four equal parts, a quarter. And then we remove this side, we do not shade it. And then, yes, spin a circle here. And then they say, give us, again, they say, give us the fraction of the shaded part of, this, of the circle. Then you look at it, how many parts do we have? We say, one, two, three, four. Then you write it just a denominator. And then you check how many parts are shaded. And then it's only one. So you're going to have one over four be the fraction of this second. Okay? We can, you can even keep on dividing it and having more fractions uh, using this second. So now we can try to use uh, a rectangle. A rectangle to determine the fractions. So a rectangle is known to be a four-sided figure like this one. Yes, it is known to be a four-sided figure like this one here. So we can check a rectangle is this one. So we also divide it into a half. And you can even divide it more and more using equal parts. But this time we're gonna divide it into half first. So we have it there. It's a half. And then they say they shade this part again. They shade, they shade, they shade. Then they want the fraction. You're gonna say the fraction of the rectangle, which has two parts. Then the denominator is two. And then the shaded part is one. Then we're gonna have a half. So they keep on again. They divide it more. Okay? And then they shade. They shade only this part. Then you count. What is the fraction of this rectangle? You count one, two, three, four. That serves as a denominator. It will have four. And then the shaded part is the only one, one part that is shaded. Then it will be one. So the fraction of this rectangle here, it, it will be 1 over 4. Okay. So, for now, we're gonna do a little activity to show a um, more example of fractions, how to determine them. We're gonna be using, for example, I have, I have some 3D objects here. I have pegs used for putting clothes on the on the line I have some old used batteries you can see they are more like rectangles they are 3d objects so I'm gonna be using them okay let me just put this aside so you can check here uh, I have these pegs they are one two three pegs and then one two three four Three, uh, four batteries so they say give us the fraction of the pegs to the batteries so we're gonna check how many pegs do we have pegs total number of pegs is is three then how many batteries we have batteries are, are four then what what you will do now you will add the total number of these objects that are here so it will be four a three plus four which is seven but because they wanted the fraction of of the pegs in the total in the total number of objects i'm just gonna write it here so as you, as you can you can see it so what is the fraction of the pegs in the total number of the so because we have three 
30 packs and then we have the objects so we count how many objects do we have that will be that number will be used as your denominator so you're gonna count the objects you have is one two three four five six seven that is your denominator and then you're gonna count the number of packs because they want the packs instead of the batteries so you're gonna say one two three then you're gonna have three so the fraction of the packs in the in the total number of the objects will be three over seven then again they can say they want the the number of batteries the fraction fraction of of batteries in this in this object then again you're going to count you're going to count all the objects is one two three four five six seven and then you're gonna have seven and then you go again you count the number of batteries because now we are looking for the batteries and you can see it say one two three four then that is four so that is how you can you can even uh, have the number of the fractions using the 3d objects or anything so now you're gonna move on we're gonna move to how you can simplify the fractions uh, without even using a calculator or anything or how can you determine if a certain fraction is equal to a certain fraction for example you can we have let's use our more common fraction one over two so this is our fraction one over two it is most commonly used it can be represented by uh, using this this rectangle can be represented as this this can be our 1 over 2 fraction and then let me just expand this a little bit a little bit yes this is our most common use so we can you can imagine of imagine of many half fractions that are equals to 1 over 2 and they are simplified because 1 over 2 is just a big thing and a half of it so we can Think of uh, 3 over 6. 3 over 6. We know that 3 is half of 6. How can we determine that? We can, we can also divide this circle. If we have a half here, and then we take it into 6 equal parts. Then Yes. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six equal parts. Then we shade one, we shade two, and then we shade three. So this gives us our six. And you can just take out these lines here, the divided lines, and then we will end up with only this part being shaded, and that gives us one over two. But there, there are many ways we can be able to determine how we can equal, equate these two fractions without using an object. So we're gonna go to use some of those ways. Okay, so we're going to be looking at another example of simplify. Uh, for example, we have 30 over 36. So trying to simplify it to see which, which fraction is uh, similar to it. So we have common factors of 30 being 5 times 6 and for 36 being 6 times 6. So now we, we know that Frank, uh, this 6 can have more factors, which is 2 times 3. And here, uh, something that similar to this one, 2 times 3, 2 times 3. So moving forward, we're going to expand it so it can be wrote as factors of 30, 5 times 2 times 3. And for 36, 2 times 3 times 2 times 3. So how can we go on and so you know if we have many common factors so we have to cancel so now we're gonna be having to cancel two and cancel two cancel three cancel three so we are left with five at the, at the top so and at the bottom I left two times three so we're going to be left here is it we we left with five at the bottom we are left with two times three and this can be rolled as 5 over 6 so this shows that uh, 30 over 36 it can be wrote as 5 over 6 then that brings us to the end of this lesson thank you very much for your time I appreciate it